Hi, welcome to the Get 800 channel, the only place you need to be for SAT math hints, tips, and tactics. Everything you need is right here so that you won't have to worry about your SAT math score when it comes time to apply to your first choice college. In this video, I'd like to share some important information that can improve your SAT math score without any work at all. Students often ask me if there is any way they will ever be able to get through all of the SAT math questions in the given amount of time. In response, I always explain that they are asking the wrong question. For most students, worrying about getting to the end of the test will not improve your score. The problem for most students is that they are already attempting too many questions. This advice might sound strange at first because students have been conditioned not to leave questions blank on tests. But the fact is, on a standardized test, students will usually increase their score by reducing the number of questions that they attempt. First, let's have a quick overview of the math section on the SAT. There are three math sections in total. They can appear in any order. There is a 20 question multiple choice section, a 16 question multiple choice section, and an 18 question section that has eight multiple choice questions and 10 grid -ins. Let's call these sections A, B, and C respectively. You should first make sure that you know what you got on your last SAT practice test, actual SAT, or actual PSAT, whichever one you took last. Let's look at this table. This table shows the general goal you should go for when taking the exam. In other words, it shows the number of problems that you should be attempting. For example, a student with a current score of 450 should attempt the first 14 questions from section A, the first 11 questions from section B, the first five multiple choice questions from section C, and the first six grid -ins from section C. This is just a general guideline. Of course, it could be fine-tuned. As a simple example, if you are particularly strong at number theory problems, but very weak at geometry problems, then you may want to try every number theory problem, no matter where it appears, and you may want to reduce the number of geometry problems you attempt. Well, that's all for today. If you prefer to read the information that is in this video rather than watch the video again, you can visit my blog. The URL is below in the description.